This is uh, Sunnyside Shop. My name's Julie. This is our first video, so bear with us uh, with me today. Um, I was going to go through and show you how to essentially make money on eBay, selling on eBay, and ideas on what to look for. Um, I will also, in this episode, I will go through basically what I bought the other day. I uh, shop at various places. Uh, ranging from thrift stores, outlet stores, um, used items, basically, uh, sometimes new. Um, we have our special guest uh, trio here. Uh, excuse my dogs, I have four of them. Sometimes they get in the way. And sometimes they're always in the way. Um, this specific trip, I went to a Goodwill outlet store here in St. Louis, and I will go through a few things that I bought. The first item I have uh, is small, it's easy to ship, uh, is a nice leather belt, uh, decent size, it is marked, um, it's a size 34, uh, it's in good shape, and they charge 99 cents a pound now, where they used to be 79 cents, but now they're 99 cents, they're slowly creeping up. Uh, so this belt, it would cost about $3 to ship, uh, approximately, first class and a bubble mailer. And uh, buying this belt, I will probably put about uh, anywhere between $25 to $30 on it. And I do really well selling belts. Um, and that's the first item. So based on, I guess, what I should do is the weight of this is obviously just a few ounces. Um, it's not even quite a pound, so I'm not paying 99 cents uh, for it. So I would say probably around 50 cents maybe. Uh, so that leaves a good profit margin there. Uh, the next item I have is... Uh, a hat. It's a Budweiser hat in good shape. It's not a lot of stains or anything. Uh, it's also made by a good company, The Game. Um, women's hat, Budweiser's from St. Louis. People like, you know, different beer type things. So with this hat, kind of the same idea with the belt. Uh, it would go, um, it would ship without getting damaged in a bubble mailer. Uh, sometimes we'll do more expensive hats in a box, small box. Um, but this, this specific hat, uh, I would probably range, I'll probably put about $25 on this. So, uh, and that's usually what I look for, things that I could sell for around $25, because I'm not going to be paying much for per item. I usually buy clothing or some you know, all kinds of different things. Uh, but this, for instance, completely random, a men's belt, a women's hat. Uh, I also look for um, different shoes. Um, good brands usually tend from Keen, Merrill, uh, a, you know, Nike, uh, the popular brands, outdoor brands I look for. These in particular I found down there as well. Uh, these are some Keen water shoes, um, in good size, let's see, size, size seven, it, it is kind of a smaller size, I don't usually buy anything less than a seven, no, definitely not six or five, those are just too small, unless they're kids shoes, but these are in really good shape, the soles are not worn, they are, like, they look like they were in the water last, like, kind of mud, but dried dirt, but no big deal. They're leather. Uh, and these I'll probably put about $30 on, and I think they'll probably sell pretty pretty quickly. I don't typically sit on, sit on too much uh, from the time that I get it. I try to price it really reasonable. Um, and let's see what else I got here. Here's a pair of men's pants. They're Older American Eagle, um, 
size 3434. And these are a cargo style nylon, uh, nylon cotton, I believe. Yeah, 30% nylon and 70% cotton. These are kind of like the old Abercrombie and Fitch paratroops, but the American Eagles version. And these um, will do pretty well. Um, I would probably price these around $25 as well, $24.95. And they're clean. There's no stains, rips, or tears or anything like that. Let's see what else I have here. Uh, here's another pair of uh, older American Eagle. Uh, these are really heavy duty, uh, thick cotton American Eagle pants. Uh, I just noticed that a button is missing there. Uh, not a huge deal. Sometimes there'll be extra buttons. And if it's something as simple as a button, I'll go ahead and sew on the extra button. Um, but as far as these go, they're size 34 as well. And they're cargo and they're heavy duty. So with good keywords, I'll definitely be able to get, uh, again, probably 25. I'll range between 25, 26, and 95 on these. And as far as the weight on a pair of shorts, these could go in a... Um, I don't usually ship our stuff. I have a business partner that helps me out. And uh, she's currently not here, but she would. she's more of the person, the go-to person as far as shipping questions and eBay questions and stuff like that. Um, I'm more of the, uh, I find what to buy and sell. She does her, her stuff as well, but uh, together we make a pretty good team. And so these, as far as shipping them, uh, you know, probably under $5. I do offer free shipping, uh, so you're not necessarily, you know, it looks better for the consumer buying it. Um, so these would be under a pound or maybe around a pound. I don't know exactly. Like I said, I don't do the shipping, but um, probably looking at maybe five or six dollars at the most. And I'll do $25 on these. So, you know, I'm still looking at a $15, 15 to $18 profit on a pair of shorts. Because if, if they weigh a pound, I paid a dollar for them. So that's pretty good. And then I bought this other pair of pants. Uh, I'm not, I usually don't tend to go outside of my knowledge on brands uh, from what I know about. You know, I have a good eye for things, but this particular pair of pants was new to me. Um, I don't, I'm not familiar, but they feel nice, so good quality. Uh, they're JW Los Angeles. I'm not too familiar with them. A pair of women's pants. They're embroidered uh, with a rose on this pocket. And then on this pocket, uh, there's also an embroidery. So they looked really interesting. And I'll have to look. This is on the leg. So I'll have to uh, look these up and kind of get an idea of price line. Uh, but right off the bat, I mean, I'll, I'll definitely just, if I didn't know anything about them or didn't have a price point to look look up, uh, which I always look up every, usually every item, unless I sell items a lot, same idea. Like I sell a lot of American Eagle shorts. I know what they go for and they sell with no problem. So those, for instance, you know, anywhere maybe between 20 and $30, Again, I don't know uh, until I look them up. And then when I look them up, I look in completed and basically see what's sold to what's not sold. If they haven't sold, I'll sell some cheap and try to get rid of them. Because again, they don't weigh much more than a pound, so I'm not out a lot of money if, uh, if uh, they're no good. So um, as far as that goes, uh, I did find a couple... I, I'm not going to go through all my stuff because sometimes I do go quite a bit. And since this is my first video, I'm just going to cut it short. But this pair here, this is uh, a pair of older silver tab Levi's. They're shorts and they're very distressed, as you can see. And some people really like distressed. And I actually do good with worn 
some worn clothes, distressed clothes. Uh, some people pay hundreds of dollars for ripped up jeans, um, whereas I'll resell them for quite a bit. Uh, but these Pacific shorts, I don't come across a lot of silver tab chino shorts, but I said, what the heck, they're shorts. They didn't cost me but maybe 50, 60 cents. So I'll give them a whirl and I'll, I'll post them for about $25 and see how it goes. Uh, but I'm going to finish up here. This is, uh, again, my first video if you're just tuning in. And uh, hopefully we'll catch on the uh, bandwagon here on getting our, our information out to those who need help knowing how to you know start a small home-based business or uh, you know need more information on how to sell on eBay uh, we we've been doing it for since about 2003 more so full-time uh, for the last about four years so we have uh, just over 2,000 items listed in our eBay store and uh, it's the Sunnyside Shop. Uh, you can either Google that or uh, look us up on eBay specifically to see our items, get an idea of what we sell. Um, but I'm going to close it with that and hope to see you on our next video.